I think my favorite detail about Garden City is just the way that the town is laid out. Since its inception back in 1869 by Alexander Stewart, the whole town was meant to be a very special place. And I think that the way that he put his vision and made it become a reality in just the way that the, we have beautiful tree-lined streets, gorgeous neighborhoods, parks and playgrounds within walking distance of most homes, uh, the way the schools are situated, where the town is situated. I think it gives a great opportunity for people to really enjoy the community at its best. I would say, hands down, my favorite restaurant would be Water Zooey. It's a Belgian bistro in Garden City. It's very popular. It's casual, it's a fun atmosphere, but um, because it's a Belgian bistro, they offer really cool items on their menu, and their specialties are huge pots of mussels in all different kinds of sauces, um, a huge assortment of Belgian beers and imported beers, fun drinks, and it's just, it's a great way to relax and unwind, spend time with family and friends. It's a really pretty restaurant, but it's casual at the same time, so it's a hands down favorite of mine. I think my favorite menu item is going to come down to what type of mood I'm in. So if I'm just in the mood for some good, quick comfort food, it's definitely going to be the fries at Burger Spot. They are a hometown favorite. So you can't go wrong. Whether you're a kid or an adult, it doesn't matter. That's the perfect side dish. But if you want to be a little more adventurous or a little more fun, um, I would definitely say at the King Bar in the Garden City Hotel, they offer bacon on a clothesline, and that is a wow item. So a novelty, but lots of fun, and you can't, you know, who doesn't love bacon? I think there's a lot of great places that serve terrific drinks in Garden City because we have such a huge assortment and variety of restaurants in town. We're very fortunate that way. But for me, I think my personal favorite would be the Red Salt Margarita, which they offer at the King Bar at the Garden City Hotel. It's unique to their restaurant and it is an award-winning cocktail that's a lot of fun. It looks great, tastes great, and it's always fun to drink. I think my favorite boutique would have to be Envy. It's a local boutique in town that's owned by a resident of Garden City, and it just offers something for everyone. So if you want clothes or jewelry or accessories, it's there. But they also offer really nice items that are personal to Garden City, whether it's a tray or it's just a sign. So it's, it's priced well, it's run well, it's a great store, it's close by. So I think that anything that you buy from there, you would be happy with. I think that the highlight event is really events for me in Garden City, and they're the Friday night promenades that they do here in Garden City. Um, they run throughout the summer, and every Friday night from about 5 to 10, they shut down 7th Street, which is the main thoroughfare in Garden City, and all the restaurants roll out food. They have themes, so whether it's St. Patrick's Day or Christmas in July, it's different themed events, so families can enjoy it, adults can enjoy it, teens can enjoy it, and they run them throughout the whole course of the summer, and it's just a great experience. It's a fun way to relax, and you get to enjoy the flavor of everything in Garden City. I think what makes Garden City so special is really a combination of the town itself and the people that are in it. Garden City has so much to offer just in terms of our schools, our neighborhoods, the tree-lined streets, the playgrounds, our recreation facilities. It's endless and its location itself is terrific, just close to the city, close to the airport, Manhattan. I think that that in itself really speaks for itself and makes it a wonderful place to live. But I also think that the people in Garden City have such a strong sense of pride and community that the two things combined really make Garden City one of the most special places on Long Island to live. It would probably be the sports fields at St. Paul's uh, in Garden City. It's, it's a very unique recreation complex where we have tons of fields that's uh, there for all kinds of sports, lacrosse, soccer, baseball. They do uh, classes inside. It's really, it, the turkey trot starts from there. It's, it's really a, a great facility and very unique to Garden City. And it's my happy place because I have three children and they have all grown up playing on those fields and running around. So some of my best moments and my, my proud mom moments have been being able to experience them, have those great times on that field.
I think the best way to experience Garden City in terms of the outdoors is just to walk. It's just such a beautifully laid out town. The neighborhoods, the tree-lined streets, the playgrounds, the town, the restaurants, it's all within walking distance. It's a community that can definitely it's, it feed on all the different aspects and you can just easily walk around the entire town. There's uh, really no way to get lost. Everything is very well laid out and you get to see it all. It's, it's just very well planned, well organized and I think it's just a beautiful place to enjoy an experience by walking. It has a lot to offer and it's a great way to see it. My name is Lisa Heaney. I'm a real estate agent with Daniel Gale Sotheby's International in Garden City. And I love my job because what I love to experience most is that moment of reality with my clients. Uh, with the buyers, I think it's the opportunity to be with them when they find their dream house and you see the excitement growing on their face that their dream is finally becoming a reality. And that's such a great gift and very rewarding. And with my sellers, I think it's the opportunity to be with them and help them get to that next place where they're moving on in their lives and selling their home is making that all a reality to them. So being with them when they get genuinely excited about where they are and where they're going in the next phase of their life, it's just a very, very rewarding experience.